So, um, I'm going to be reading through and talking about and giving my opinions on what was revealed by Exonic today. Uh, the main thing of topic is, of course, this clan system overhaul. Uh, so here is the star base, the clan base, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it looks amazing. Incredible job. I love the design of it. And here they, uh, they let us read about it. So um, it's got several um, it's just several different sections. Um, the first one is the Citadel. Uh, you unlock that uh, to unlock upgrades for other sections and, and increase clan capacity. Uh, Officer Academy increases the number of officers the clan can have. Com Center provides additional daily clan tasks. Logistics Center. Oh, okay. So this this boosts. Um, uh, your workshop speed. So, uh, depending on the amount it boosts, it it boosts it by. Uh, that would allow you to uh, make robots much more efficiently. I like that. Uh, pilot training center. Okay, some more uh, XP and so. Oh, okay, um, something that boosts mothership uh, speed. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, if it's just a small boost. Uh, which is what I'm hoping for, then it's good. But it's a benefit for clans, but it isn't a massive issue. I, I just don't want it to go back to what it was before, because that was ridiculous. Uh, also, facilities that produce power cells, more and, and other up, and upgrade tokens. Okay. They are built and upgraded like any other section. Once activated, they generate resources daily and accumulate them up to a cap. Remember to collect and share regularly. You can do so by pressing the big green button at the bottom of your clan's home screen. Okay, so it also has a sort of a daily resource center. Um, let's see. In... Okay, so there's the new currency, Thorium. Uh, so there's a capacity of 297.99 keys, I guess. Or you've got 99 keys, and there's 297 of those. And then 72 power cells, 216 of those. And you can only claim one of those a day or something. The memoriam is very nice, but I'm unsure about what the capacity means. So can you take more than one a day? Does each member get more than one capacity? I, I don't know. Uh, okay, senior officers. Uh -huh. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you can earn Thorium by completing daily clan tasks. Okay, so it sounds like it's not a paid system, but rather um, something you have to grind out. I actually appreciate that. Uh, I'm sure maybe there's going to be some way to buy it, um, but it's probably not going to be worth it. Uh, and just to get extra money uh, for people who are w willing to just spend a fortune to max out their clan immediately. Um, each section has a maintenance cost. Okay, that makes sense. Sections will switch off automatically. Hopefully the upgrade costs aren't too big of an issue. I'd imagine that it scales linearly, linearly uh, with the progression and scale of clans. So you, you use more the higher level you are, but the higher level you are, the more players and memoriam you have in storage. Member management. Um... Okay, clans have become fully cross-platform. I love this. Um, I'm on PC, so I can't play with players I'd like to play with, and this would be a massive positive benefit. Add a new, one new rank, senior officers. Okay, we already read about that. Um, clan leader is absent. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, so that should prevent clans from going dead. Um, that's actually a very good change. Uh, the member list shows when each member was last seen online, as well as the number of days they spent being part of your clan. That's very helpful. Uh, in my clan, it's mostly dead. And it's difficult to figure out who's dead, uh, or not dead, who's just gone, who plays a little bit, and who's active, especially if they're from different time zones. There's also a bunch of UI improvements and tweaks, like the number like the increased number of clans and clan search and an option to select a clan sale to recruit. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. 
They showed the, us that in the live show. All of that sounds great. Note that a clan that has no active members for more than 60 days is automatically disbanded and its starbase is destroyed. Okay. So I guess a ton of unactive un and dead clans are going to get destroyed and deleted. I know that sounds like a negative thing, but that's probably better because it saves like a ton of server space. The overhaul will allow us uh, to add more clan features in future updates next. Then our list is shipyards where you will... Oh, okay, I was correct. Um, when I mentioned the shipyard, I did predict that it's where you would build motherships, which is a incredibly important change. I cannot stress how much uh, the inability to get good motherships was uh, of an issue. So you, you just had to gamble with your uh, hard-earned Doritos and just hope to get lucky to get a mothership that could be nerfed. Or you could spend and wait forever to get something from the 100 key chest. And the drop rates on that were terrible. It'd take you forever to get anything from there. I mean, I'm sure you could spend a million keys and not get something. Uh, so now I'm going to go read the update notes. Um, here they are. Uh, there we go. Um, 10.1. It's obviously the update. It's called the Space Tech Fair 2024. So we obviously got two new robots, Raptor, the main focus, and a new ultimate for those who go for it. Uh, ultimate Bulgazari, I do like the concept. Here's the list of everything in here. I like the new title and a new paint job for the uh, um, Pathfinder, but it doesn't look like we're getting a special edition. Uh, new robot Pathfinder. Uh, it's basically a mini luchador. We all know this by now. And the weapons for it are mini gargantuas and panic rolls. Uh, less range, you can't hit players in a cone, but they do uh, way more damage, which is funny. Hawkeye, it is pretty niche, but I think that it can definitely work on some robots like Hawk, Siren, Harpy, uh, providing boosts for them. While it doesn't fully fit them, um, I think that it's still a decently good drone. Uh, Gloria Earhart, uh, what was Oh, okay. So it has a bigger, it does more damage with its uh, landing, and it applies EMP. Um, so it, it doesn't apply a negative effect normally, uh, but Luchador does. But now it applies EMP. That's a pretty, uh, pretty good ability, I would say. It's definitely one I would go for as it pairs very well with this. The ultimates, we've already read about these. Ultimate Volkzari has an invincible shield or almost invincible 10 million health. Shock Train, just as terrifying as the original were. Um, oh, okay. That's, that's really cool. So it's like a little amplifier pilot kind of thing where the more kills or assists you have, you gain defense points up to 60. Um, I don't have the sheet pulled up for what that is, but I think that's around um, 40 or 50% resistance because uh, defense points become exponentially less useful and additional damage for up to Oh, okay, a 30% damage boost. That's that's very nice. Um, paired with a nuclear amplifier that essentially doubles your damage. Uh, very good ability. Uh, enhanced Aegis system. Uh, no stats on this. To be honest, uh, unless it has a ton of durability, I don't think it'll be very good on anything except Avalon. Of course, the clan system overhaul. And no bug fixes. Now, something else to note is no uh, nerfs or buffs. Uh, we have not had a rebalance of any kind for two updates now. Uh, one of the biggest complaints I've seen is Pixonic not allowing items to really last that long. And this is definitely them allowing things like Kiri and Eiffel and Shenlu all to have their chance to shine, um, which I actually quite like. Um, it's cool. 
Uh, I, I remember when, you know, older meta robots, you, you remember the, you'd remember the reign of a certain robot and it seemed like it was around forever. And then as of recent, for the last few years, you would uh, just have one robot and it would be strong for a few months, but like in retrospect, the, like the reign of Amugi, although Amugi was never really super meta, uh, but they just never had a long time to shine. And I do like that. So those are my thoughts on the changes, obviously the changes themselves. If I skipped over something, you can obviously go back and look over it. Um, thank you all for watching very, very much. Um, sorry about the uh, horrific up upload schedule. Um, still busy, still trying to get content. Uh, it's difficult to get stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or subscribing, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.